Tony, there's some real money in the room. If there's a girl out there who wants to collab with you, you know, I, I asked you yesterday about, you know, OnlyFans collabs or whatever, um, to grow their brand. Um, I, I, I have this huge issue with that because I keep saying for such a long time, I have such a backlog of content that I'm not going to shoot. I'm not shooting right now. I'm not taking requests. But I have a weakness, and especially for women, and especially women of color, because of what I'm doing with my company. And anytime I can help grow a girl's page, and if she really wants to have sex with me and work with me, that, I don't know, it's obviously it's a compliment. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Let me see if I can fit you into my schedule, even though I'm really not. And I don't add that part, but I'm really not supposed to be shooting and booking new content because I have a lot of shit going on. My, my company is uh, launching. But if I can fit them in, I will. Um, um, and that's sort of what I've been doing. Um, yeah, anytime I can help, I will. Right, right. I don't charge girls either. For guys, if you're not in the industry, like an, a mainstream porn star, mm -hmm. um, I tend to charge a fee for the trade. Okay, okay. Um, but for women, up, right? yeah, I'm like, hit me up. Right. Hit me up. Hit right. me up. I'm, I'm trying to make grow and make as many relationships as possible specifically for ml and i want to be able to book these girls and shoot these girls later on down the road and help them and give them exposure um ultimately the goal of ml and is to really just incentivize more women to get into the adult industry there's just so few of us when you really compare us to every you know to white women to latino women there's just so few porn stars over the the span of 20 years you guys can probably name 20 big names um spanning from jada fox pinky anna fox you know but 20 you know, and it's like, yeah, and you know, and it's and like, your um, booty. yeah, you know, and so oh, 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 let's not disrespect Heather Hunter, uh, Jenny Jack. No, but those are Dominic names. Simone. Those are names that maybe Texans or Southerners know. But what I'm talking about, everybody knows these girls. Yeah, Dominique Simone. And, uh, I don't know that name. Heather Hunter, black porn stars. Heather Hunter. Uh, 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 she was the only. I worked in a, I worked in a porn Misty store Stone. for three years. Misty, those I'm talking about recognizable but, names. You're young though. That's I why you don't know. I, mean, I, I don't know. That's another thing. Like That's that another thing. Ago. That's another so, thing. True. But but with the name, I, I feel where you're coming from though, because the names that you saying are the names that I know. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You're names that everybody is yeah, gonna but, know. But no, gener it, it's like names when you that name when Mr. you throw Marcus, it out, you like know they're gonna know. Generational thing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. generational thing. Yeah, yeah. same like, thing with hip hop. Also, yeah, also, that's yeah. another thing. It's so hard for women to to be carried on like that. Like you really gotta put in work or time to be remembered over generations because it's like I'm not young enough to have fucking known who Misty is but I know who Misty is I'm not young enough to have known Cherokee or Pinky but I know who the fuck they are because it's like their names live on they, they built a real brand yeah exactly well you got to work with Misty also the average time span of a porn star people don't know this is a year on average you're either gonna do a year or less than that or five or ten or twenty like, but the average girls come in, it's the, the joke um, with the agencies is that, you know, there's a revolving door. Girls turn 18 every day, you know, and so a lot of girls come in and they don't stick around. Um, and the ones that do happen to be white because it's easier for them. So let, let me ask you why, this. Why is it easier for them? Um, they're going to get shot more. They're going to get more exposure. They're going to get paid more for escorting dates. They're going to get just more and um that's why there is no incentive right now for black girls to join the industry because if i'm only going to be shooting once or twice a month um i could do something else i can make my own content i can yeah. do this i could do that well, you know like there's no incentive to continuously do this when you feel misrepresented you feel underappreciated you feel you know like and there's always that thing in any industry adult modeling anything where it comes to like vanity where you're constantly comparing yourself because you sort of have to like yeah. you're you're not in a competition you're all in it together but like you're gonna compare yourself to the girls that are doing great and the girls that are always shooting and the girls that are you know um and it's not good for your mental health Right. And so if you're you're seeing this and you're feeling un underappreciated and so on and so forth, you're not going to stay in for more than a year. You're going to make your money and then you're going to be like, I did what I did and move on. I want to make more black legends. I want there to be as many black porn stars as there are white because there is a demand for it. And we've just been told that there isn't. Well, what's the going rate for a black porn star right now? I do not discuss people's rates. Everybody's rates are different. Okay. Yes. Okay. I will say the longer you're in, you get to charge like your Misty Stone. But yeah. Well, would you discuss your rate? I would rather not. Okay. Yeah. Well, Mr. Market said that he paid at the and this is right this is back in the day, right? But uh, he said he paid two thousand to smash Superhead or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, I'm sorry. Who is Superhead? Uh, Car Stefan Kareem. That's like how he got famous. That's why you know what I'm saying. That's Wait, like I'm sorry. Can you explain? Do you not familiar with Superhead? 
No, I don't. I'm so sorry. Are you like joking right now? No, I'm so serious. But it makes sense. She don't know the other porn stars. Yeah, but she know Mr. Marcus. That's not her era, though. Is this Damn. black porn too? Yes. yes. I watch such mainstream porn. That's why I've cultivated this idea. What's that mainstream porn? White porn? Well, it's just they're sprinkled black girls in there. Right. You know, there's just not enough. The it's not this, well, she's, she's, she's talking though. about like major suit, like Vivid. Yeah. Okay, well, let yeah, me yeah, just yeah, explain. Yeah, yeah. So, so Superhead. Um. Okay. Yeah. You know. And, big and distributors. black major production companies like Vivid will shoot. Just big names. They're not shooting your everyday black, you know, girl. There's not like you know, they weren't shooting everybody. They were very picky, basically. Right, right. Yeah. Well, Superhead, she um, she kind of made Mr. Marcus come in like two minutes, and it was like the shot heard around the world in the black community at least, to where it was like, damn, this, you know and what I'm saying? He paid her. Y- yeah. 2000? Well, he was he was filming at that time, and he paid her two thousand. She was off the street. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, See, Vivid wouldn't have booked her, even if she's hot, has a following. You know, now I think Suave. Nowadays they'll, they'll, they'll book you just if you have a following, because yeah. they can't ignore that anymore. People like you, you know. Right. But that's that's pretty sick. That's awesome. That I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, cool. it, it, it happened to work. Well, um, he was about to ask something. No, I want I want to know, with, with your opinion, what, how many years does a performer have to be in the industry to be stamped as a legend? Or what even makes you a legend? More than ten? I think yeah. more than ten. So you're not a legend yet. Not yet. Based off your standards. No. Okay. Okay. Well you got to work with a legend. You got to work with Misty Stone. Mm-hmm. How was that? It was great. It was amazing. It was uh I got to work with two legends in one day. I worked with her and Isaiah Maxwell in, okay. uh, in one scene and it was I was starstruck the entire day, honestly. Yeah. yeah. It was great. Oh well how was it like? You know what I'm saying? I will say, okay, because I again, I didn't watch Misty Stone and nothing against her. When people are always like, oh, she's not in like your top five. And it's like, um, my top five are people that I've jerked off to. And for a long time, I mean, I don't know. I just didn't click on her, right? And so um, I was very surprised with the dirty talk. I was not ready for that. She is the queen of it. She is filthy. She is nasty. She gets into it. And that kind of threw me off but was so hot at the same time I was not prepared I've never I've never really had such an aggressive female partner that was very aggressive yeah very aggressive and it was it was yeah it was I think nice. I think that's what makes her special though like you know cause it's like she's like she aggressive you know what I'm saying that's her thing yeah. she's a dirty talker I, I think the only other black porn star that I can think of that does that is Miss Diamond Jackson I Donna believe Jackson, yeah. yeah she was yeah. pretty filthy at the mouth but the originator is Midori aka you know Jolie but Wattis. that's not yeah. Jada Fire's brand right. that's not you know uh, right. that's not Anna Fox's brand right. you know and so that's what solidified her that's her brand that's her thing right and well, she stuck around well um, lastly you know what's your brand what's your thing so I like to tell people that I'm really just a Southern Belle. Um, it took me a long time because ultimately for me, I don't like labels in any aspect of life. It took me a really long time to find something that I fit into because I'm a submissive. That's my main thing. Um, I'm a very submissive person, um, but I'm, I can be dominant sometimes. I'm a switch. I like women. I like men. I um, I like passionate sex. I like act. so like. I didn't know what I wanted to label myself as, but ultimately, I'm just a Southern Belle. I'm just the sweet, cute little girl next door. That's all. Just a princess. I'm a just princess. a princess. She's she's definitely a princess, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Well, lastly, um, you have your own production company. Uh, you talked about it a little bit. What made you start it? Our vision statement to just incentivize more women to more women of color to join the industry. To um, Prove people wrong, really. Okay. Okay. And so, like, why to show not... people that we're just as desirable and worth it. Because right. I will say this, and not to knock any of these black production companies, but we don't have a Brazzers, and we never have. We've never had a company that put that amount of money into production to make it look, I don't know, like Brazzers, like like Reality Kings, like Team Skeet. Give me one. Give me one other than Josh Stone. Josh Stone at one time had a big uh, uh Please production. send me links. And I, I again see, I did not mean to knock anybody. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You never heard of them. I want Josh Melanin, Stone is a legend I want of porn game. Melanin to put to be as recognizable as the Playboy Bunny. Like have you you guys saw my logo on my card? My Afro girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want her to be as recognizable as the Playboy Bunny. It's a shame that I've been doing this for five years and you guys are still telling me black companies I didn't know about. And the ones that I do, I'm 
they're great. They're yeah, great people, but in they're in hotels. They're the lighting isn't. I want top high end porn for for people of color. Right, 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 right. Because you're gonna catch more eyes that way. You're gonna get more views. You're gonna get more exposure because people like clean, nice. Yeah, it's something about that well 4K thumbnail. Yeah, with the you know, people right like that. You know, like, it's like, damn, get it let me click on this right here. Yeah, they don't want to just see a bunch of. And this again, I always feel so bad, and I and it's not that I'm knocking them. It's just that my brand is different. It's just people. Not everybody wants to see black people just in a hotel. Right. They don't, we don't want to see a bunch of nigga shit. There's some nigga shit going on. And that again, that sounds so bad, but I was going to ask you about that. What uh, shit? No, the. Uh, uh, do you shoot a lot of gonzo content? So I've decided we're gonna shoot two different kinds of content. We're gonna have gonzo scenes where it's just like, hey, what's your name? You're hot, you're cute. You're gonna fuck this guy. I'm gonna be the voice behind the camera and then I'm gonna introduce the guy. You guys are gonna have fun. And then we're gonna have, I have script writers. Um, amazing script writers. Some of them have been published in all kinds of magazines and, and, and websites and they're great. Um, I've got script writers and so they write all of my detailed uh, scripts like the stuff that you would see on Reality Kings or on Pornhub when you log in and they've got that that little funny or or interesting plot like um, I've got script writers that take care of that. I've got a Powerpuff Girls series in the vault that I cannot wait to produce. Um, that was written for me by one of my producers so some of them will be like you know themed with plots but then we'll also shoot Gonzo scenes so that there's a good mix on the site. Okay, okay. Salute. If you and eventually need, down uh, the line, I would like uh, a subset, um, sort of like, you know, Bang Bros has Bang Buzz and like all this stuff. Um, I want a site for black dominatrix for, for white men. Right. Like black female dominatrix with white men as right. a sub. Right, right. Okay. Well, if you never need any dope writers from Texas, you know who to come to. You know what I'm saying? Thank any you. dope stars from Texas. You. you know, we popping right now with the OnlyFans models from yes. the biggest strip clubs. You know what I'm yes. saying? You know, you know, woo de woo, woo de woo. Uh, Hazel Grace, y'all. Thank you. For sure. Uh, is there anything you want to let the people know that we didn't ask you? Just go to my website and support me by following me anywhere. Um, spending money is always great, but a follow means just as much to me. It's officialhazelgrace.com. Again, officialhazelgrace.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Pornhub subscription would be very much appreciated if you have an account. Um, I have a free OnlyFans. Um, free OnlyFans. I have a free OnlyFans and I have uh, VIP OnlyFans. Check out inmelanin.com. Go to inmelanin.com. Get used to that name. Get used to that logo. Sign up for our newsletter so that you are notified when we launch. When do the uh, VIPs get that to freeze, though? Um, their movies are cheaper. They get them first. Um, the conversation is, you know, you're not paying as much throughout the conversation, and yeah. Hey, real tone, it's a real money in the room.